Much better.
Don't kill the mutant, save the Earth.
freaks around. Got jammed. You again? Yes, me. Lance Corporal Samuel Taylor, U.S. Marine Corps. Well, thank you, Uncle Sam. Edward Baranov, ex captain. Glad to meet you, Ed. How did you end up in this mess? This is one of my ports. Usually the traps downstairs were enough. The Foglies here know well enough to stay away. Let's go before some more arrive. Stupid beasts. You kill a bunch, but they just keep coming. Help me move this, Sam. You got it? Come on! <sighs> oh, we did it. Ugh, I hurt all over. Which is a good sign. Means I'm alive. So, where was I? Ah, yes. Then the bandits from the cinema decide to throw a party for the local gang bosses. And think far enough ahead to chase a pack of Foglies away from the ruins next door for extra security. So the poor mutants arrived here and got sandwiched between the bandits and the other parks in the vicinity. The only way open for them was up. I could beat them, but that gem... You're welcome. I've been looking for you. Did you talk to Tom? Yeah. He suggests a deal. Yes, he's fond of those. I hate being old. We're almost there. All right, my own personal savior, let's set sail. Come aboard! We have a long way to go. Tell me, Ed, what happened here during the war? Doesn't look like the city took any direct hits. So why is it in such a state? Yeah, there were no direct hits. The warheads fell into the sea, all in a neat little line. My sub didn't even shoot. All the targets were destroyed without our help. We called the base for orders, but there was no reply. The base was hit naturally, so we sailed here. That's where the HQ was. When we reached the city, we couldn't recognize it. It was even worse back then, of course. Just the smell alone. There were very few survivors, and frankly, we were surprised to find any. We picked them up from the roofs, organized somehow, and ended up settling in the dock. The place ended up pretty cozy. At least we had no problem with electricity, with the reactors running. And by the time they ran out of fuel, we had a floating power station ready. All this luxury ended up generating rumors. So the bandits started coming by to check us out. 
Finally, one day Tom arrives, with an offer of uniting our forces and setting up an effective defense perimeter. Mm, that bastard. Sniper, get down! Damn it! <coughs> Did he get you? I'm fine, keep your head down! Looks like we're safe. Did you see where he's shooting from? I'll handle the sniper. Get him from you the stay water. here. Are you sure? Go get him then.
motherfucker took our ball. Hey, people, this bitch is 
Easy, man! I give up! No, I, I see you are serious people going about your business. So I, I won't give you any trouble anymore. Ed, Sam here. Sniper neutralized. Great job, Sam. Get down to the gantry. I'll pick you up from there. Nika Vonya Doma.
So, did he give you any trouble? Nikakich problem. Guys. Ah, these are the bandits I told you about. They came to make a profit by robbing our settlement at the dock, but it didn't pan out. I must give credit where credit is due. That bastard Tom did bolster the defenses all right. These losers have long since stopped raiding. A few years back, they made one last attempt. Klim gave them a lesson. They were so terrified, they didn't even cut down bodies of their hanged pals all over the ruins. They couldn't raid and didn't have a place to go. So they turned to trapping. They catch mutants in the ruins. Those human-like ones. Their beasts are dumb and shrewd, but strong. Quite good for dragging carts or boats on the rivers, turning wheels and stuff. They don't eat much either, so using them lets you save a bunch of fuel. So the bandits catch them, train them a little, and then sail them off to traders. Those come from the south a couple of times a month. They pay in weapons, ammo, rice, all the things you need for a decent life in the wild. <laughs> they visit the settlement too, mostly buying restored generators, engines, and other machines. Our maintenance guys are real wizards, after all. Oh, and dried fish, too. So that's the region's economy in a nutshell. <laughs> but why did those trappers shoot at us? The whole city is divided between them. It took a lot of fighting to define those borders. So now they open fire at anyone approaching without proper insignia. Got it. Turf Wars, the primeval edition. Ha 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 ha! You got it. All right, we're here, Sam. Let's move this thing and I'll show you my backup base. Cool. So, care to tell me the essence of Tom's offer? It's simple. He offers to leave you the settlement along with everyone who won't follow him. How generous. And what does he want? He wants you to deliver fuel rods for the submarine. <laughs> Come on in, sir. Don't worry, the lift's fine. My friends and I took our time preparing this base. There's a generator and a roof. 